Hey, this is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trans, and in today's video, we want to show you how you can transfer your WhatsApp messages over from an Android to an iPhone. And if you've been looking for this on the internet and you've been on Google, and you may have been a little bit disappointed in the search results that you found because there's not a proper guide on how you can do this until now. Because in this video, we will show you three ways in how you can move those chats over from an Android over to an iPhone. And if you enjoy videos like this that help you out with some tips and tricks, then why not subscribe to the Mobile Trans channel so you don't miss out on any of the videos that we have coming up. Okay, let's get straight into our first method and help you move those WhatsApp chats from your Android over to your iPhone. And the first method that we want to talk about in today's video is a piece of software called Mobile Trans. Mobile Trans is the simplest and most effective way to take those WhatsApp chats from your Android phone over to your iPhone and this is something that you might not believe, but you can do it in pretty much just one click. It is nice and simple. You can't get confused with it, and I will tell you how you can do it. The first thing that you need to do, of course, is make sure you have the mobile trans software downloaded to your computer or your Mac. And the way you can do this is by going to that mobile trans website and hitting that download button for the system that you need. Once you have downloaded the software, you then just need to have a little bit of an explore of the software and see what else it can do. But once you have done that, what you'll need to do is then go back to that home screen of the mobile trans software and click the WhatsApp transfer option. This is the point where you then need to connect both your iOS device and your Android device then that means that those phones are ready to be used in that WhatsApp transfer. Once you've selected that WhatsApp transfer option you then need to just have a look at the sidebar and make sure that the WhatsApp transfer option is actually selected. There are a few other options that you can see on that sidebar but just make sure that WhatsApp is the one that is selected and then we can carry on. The software mobile trans will then put in the phones to a position which it thinks is correct but sometimes this isn't that accurate so you might need to swap these phones around. So if you want to transfer your WhatsApp chats from your Android to your iPhone, you need to make sure that your Android device is in that first column, which is going to be the source device, and then that your iPhone is in that second column, which is going to be the destination device, so it can receive those WhatsApp chats. Something just to note here is that if you have used WhatsApp on the iPhone that you're moving over the data to, then it will erase all of those WhatsApp messages and data on that iPhone. So make Make sure you've either backed that up or you have signed out. And then you hit start and in no time at all, those WhatsApp chats would have then made it over from your Android device over to the iPhone and you will get a notification when this has happened as well. But depending on the amount of data you want to move, it might take some time or it might be as quick as anything. When you then go to your iPhone and open WhatsApp, all of that data from the Android WhatsApp version would have moved over to the iPhone WhatsApp version so you can carry on using all of your chats. Our second option or second method for this is a method that would not need you to use a computer at all and it is to use an app called WhatsApper. This is a really good option if you don't want to use your computer or you don't own a computer to actually move some chats over but it's really important that you keep that data. So WhatsApper is a really good alternative and can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. WhatsApper supports that data transfer from an Android over to an iPhone like we said without the need of using a computer. All you would need is the two phones with the app on the Android phone and one OTG cable. So let's go ahead and show you how you can use this WhatsApp app on your Android device to make those chats move over to the new iOS device. So this is where you will want to go and back up your WhatsApp chats on WhatsApp and get that OTG cable ready. And once you open that WhatsApp mobile transfer option, then it will tell you exactly the instructions that you need to make sure you back it all up and then open Open it. When you connect the two phones with the OTG cable, you then just need to make sure you select trust. This will be on both phones and then you might need to enter your phone number as well. This phone number must be the one that you are logged into on WhatsApp, otherwise it will not work. Then once you've done that, you can then start to make that transfer happen and it can begin. So give it a little bit of time while WhatsApp is getting all of those files backed up, created and ready to move. That might take a little bit of time, so it is important just to be a little bit patient here and once it is then done, all you have to do then is click start to transfer over those WhatsApp chats and data to the iOS device. And again, this might take its time. So just bear with it and it will work. Our last option to move those WhatsApp chats from Android to an iOS 
is to use email chat. And because moving those WhatsApp chats from an Android to an iPhone is actually really difficult to do, there is another option, so do not fear. WhatsApp actually lets you email your chats to yourself so you can keep a backup of that chat to the point that you emailed it and then it is safe and secure on your device. And this is something that a lot of people don't know how to do. And this doesn't let you restore the chat directly into WhatsApp on iOS, but it does keep a really good archive of the chats up to a certain point and then lets you view them on that iPhone. This is something that I think a lot of people need to know and it's really easy and of course, simple to do. So let's tell you how you can email those chats to yourself from WhatsApp. First of all, just launch WhatsApp and open any of the conversations that it is that you want to see save. Then you tap on the more options, which is the three little dots or hamburger icon on the top and choose email conversation. This is a point where you'll be asked if you wish to include or exclude the attached media files. Mostly it's recommended to exclude since email servers only have a small maybe 20 megabyte limit as their mail limit. This will open Gmail and then it will also have an attached file which is your text file of that WhatsApp chat. You then just need to enter your email ID or save it in draft so it is then saved to your phone and Gmail. Later on you can access the same email account on your iPhone and download your chats to view them whenever you want. And remember this is not a conventional WhatsApp chat so you can't open it in WhatsApp and carry on that chat but it does give you a really good archive and history of the chat up to the point that you decided to email it as an email chat. So it is then viewable on your iPhone. There are three methods there that will hopefully help you move your Android WhatsApp chats over to your iPhone iOS device. So if this is something that has helped you, then why not let us know in the comments below and also subscribe to the channel as well and drop us a like if this video did help you out. And in the next couple of weeks, we will be having some more of these videos that will help you with some tips and tricks. So do make Make sure that you're subscribed to this mobile trans channel and if you are then we will see you in the next video.